Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Today I'd like to talk about lithium batteries and what to do with old lithium batteries. Now those who've watched my uh, videos previously will remember the bicycle video where I showed my electric bicycle and the battery pack that I made for it. And it's made up of well, essentially four batteries. There's these two which are still good and these two one of which is not good. So four batteries in total. Now, you can see that each pack is made up of, well, three cells, they're three S batteries. And this cell's good, this cell's good, this cell I suspect is not good because it's puffed out. And I've noticed that the whole pack is, was, was starting to puff out to the extent where I couldn't plug it into the, the mount I made on the bicycle frame. So it's time for this pack particularly to go. Now they're quite expensive these batteries, they're hobby grade um, quadcopter batteries. Uh, quite expensive to throw out, so I'm only going to throw out this one. I'm going to monitor this one like a hawk because it's from the same manufacturer, but it's still good as gold. So look, straight as a die, so I shall show you the test. Now generally you see each one of these cells will, will be about the same voltage when you put it on the analyzer. When you put it on the charger and what the charger does it, it uh, charges the whole battery and checks that each cell is more or less balanced with the rest so you get an even discharge rate now once they start to fail you know, any physical or chemical damage happens then the, the battery is basically not so useful and the, the capacity will be vastly diminished so it's not worth having on board so with this in mind let's have a look and see what the voltage is like Let's look at the good one first, shall we? So I've got a little tester. This is my latest charger. I'll tell you about that at a later date, I'm sure. Plug it in there. And I've got the batteries We've got to connect both the analyzer and also the uh, the main power just to make sure it's done properly so i've got got them the wrong way around positive 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 get them wrong at your peril don't want to ruin a good battery do we right so this one's positive and the other ones are negative. Let's just plug it in and hope for the best. Hope for no blue smoke. Let's see what the analyzer says. It's been a good charger so far. It's one of these all singing, all dancing, and it has a built-in uh, transformer, which I like about it. It can also run off field batteries if you're charging in the field. So that's quite nice. So if you have an old battery like well, one of these, you could deplete it and use it to charge other batteries before giving it a stabbing with a screwdriver and leaving it in the dustbin thoroughly discharged. So let's have a look. There is a little extra functions. I think it comes under battery status. See what it thinks. OK. So we've got an overall capacity uh, running at 12.49 volts voltage across the cells. 97% charge, which is nice to see. It holds its... Uh, this is the good one, by the way. Uh, and if we just press this button, it'll give us... Oh, there we go. Voltages across the cells. So one, two, three. They're all about the same voltage. That's good to see. Now, let's compare it with the other one. I'm going to unplug that because whilst I like this charger, I've noticed if you accidentally touch the leads whilst it's plugged in, it gives you a bit of a jolt. So I can't say I recommend it, you know. Let's not do that. OK. Now, why are these two batteries in series like to sell one, two, and I think... Anyway. 
it's good. They've been quite clever with the design of the charger because on some of the cheaper chargers, all these ports will be built in on the side. Now, if they break, of course, you've stuffed the whole charger. But in this case, you just got a little expansion card and you can replace this more easily than you can the whole charger. Not that it was that expensive, but still, this is the balancing. Balancing connector it tells us what the individual cell voltages are like and such. And then what we got, this is the negative. So let's pop that on the, what's the controller? Where's the wire? We're going to do the positive first. So this one's the positive. So I'm going to stick the positive with the positive terminal. It's there, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, crocodile clips, safe. And then the negative here and we're going to stick that there we go on there now let's fire it back up again hopefully no smoke let's have a look extra functions again battery status lipo years it's the only sort of batteries i've got at the moment okay so this one, allegedly 12.20 volts across the cells, fine, okay. 85% charged, fine. But the cells, as you can see, aren't quite so balanced. One's holding a decent charge, the other two less so. So maybe it's not just the one cell that's failing in this case. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, looks like two of those cells are thicker than the third. That might be the reason why we're seeing lower voltages. Anyways, you could you could use this for quite some time, and it's fine if you're just flying a plane. But when you're talking about a device you comfortably take into the office, you kind of don't want it to be so dodgy. I better desolder this anyway and get it into the garden. I decided not to uh, desolder it at all. And the less heat near this thing, the better. I just clip the uh, wires and off we go. So, away into the garden. This was, for the reference, a, from Banggood, if I recall correctly. It's a ZOP ZOP power uh, yeah, hobby grade battery. With 60C, 11.1 volts and uh, a decent capacity. And uh, it, it did very, very well. A couple of these and you will go far on your electric bicycle. Into the garden.